Alrighty boys, here we go. Another tutorial. This one today is on a move I'm gonna call the spy. Um, here it is. That's the move. Now you might be wondering why I'm calling this the spy. Usually this move is called the reverse index rollover. That's its proper name. Um, if you ever played Team Fortress 2, the spy, it's a character there, he's got a butterfly knife. Whenever you go to stab someone, usually you stab them like this. So the guy walks around with a knife like this, to stab him, to, to flip the knife upside down, he just goes like that and stabs him. Which is stupid. He should be doing this move. Because I think it looks way cooler. It's the same thing. Goes from the front to reverse. Way cooler. Anyways, here's a slow-mo. Okay, so to start this one, you're going to want to start with the knife in the open position. You're going to want to grab the safe handle between your thumb and middle finger. So I've got the safe handle here between my thumb and middle finger, maybe three quarters of the way up. So the bite handle is loose here. Um, it's the, my middle finger is pinching it right about there. Uh, what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to rest your other, whatever, four fingers on the knife. And then you're going to want to point the blade towards you. So the sharp side is facing me. From here, you can just throw out the handle, the other handle, and you'll wind up with the bite handle over your middle finger. So, once again, basically you start with it open, throw the knife over your middle finger. From here, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your index finger and put it in front of the safe handle. So when you put it in front of the safe handle, you're going to want to put it up as high as possible. So as close to the pivots as possible without getting pinched and where you can still flip it up. So once again, start with it open, flip it over your middle finger, put your index in front as high up as possible. The next thing that's going to happen is you're going to remove your thumb from the top. So your thumb has to get out of the way. So once again, knife is open over your middle finger, index in front, thumb out of the way. From here, you're going to flip the knife up over your index finger. At the same time, you're going to remove your other three fingers out of the way. So you can probably see where this is going. So to recap again, one more time here, knife is open. Fling the knife over your middle finger, index in front as high as possible, thumb out of the way. You're going to flip the knife up over your fingers, remove your last three fingers. From here, the knife is going to spin. And when the knife reaches right about here, you are going to also remove your index finger. So at this point, you're not hanging on to the knife at all. It's just spinning. That's all that's happening. So the reason I did the ice pick aerial tutorial last week, which I'll put in the description, is because this is basically like an ice pick aerial. It doesn't look like one, but it is. You lose control of the knife completely, and you catch it in the reverse grip. So you should know that first. That'll help with this move. Anyways, once again, knife is open, safe handle, over your middle finger, index in front as high as possible, thumbs out of the way, you flip the knife up, your three fingers get out of the way, the knife spins, your index gets out of the way, and then you're going to angle your hand up slightly to catch. And you're going to catch it between your thumb and index finger, sort of, like your lower hand area. You're going to pinch it here and catch it like that. So you can see when I do this move, I can potentially catch it without any of my other fingers here. It just kind of slides up and there's a point where it leaves my hand completely and I can catch it here just like that. So um, for this one, there's a couple things that can go wrong. One of the main things that goes wrong is when you catch, it can angle sideways. So you don't, you can't finish the catch. So there's a couple reasons why that happens. Um, number one is if it's not completely vertical up and down. So if you have a slight backwards tilt or a slight forwards tilt, that'll affect the when you let go of the knife and you try to go to catch, your fingers will get in the way and it'll catch sideways. Another reason that that can happen is if you don't put your finger high enough. The higher you put your finger, the more control you have over the direction of the spin. And so if you have it too low, sometimes you can get a little bit out of control and it can get stuck and not work. Okay, and then my third tip 
is when you start this move, you're going to want to start it low and you're going to want to end a little bit higher. It's almost like the arc that happens in the ice pick aerial that I talked about last week. Um, so let me show you what that looks like, right? So I start low, a little bit lower when I put it over my middle finger and you end a little bit higher. And what that's going to do is that's going to help with another problem you can have is when you do the move and you catch it, the other handle doesn't come up. Like you don't have enough swing. So you catch it like this, basically. So the key to that is to start low, end high. Um, that'll give you the momentum you need to keep the knife closed, to, to close the knife and finish the uh, trick. So that's it. So that's my three tips there. So I guess, first of all, put your finger up as high as possible, your index finger up as high as possible. Second, try and keep the... Um, it completely vertical. Don't try try to don't try to get any angles or anything. And the third trick is start low and then finish high. Um, yeah, so that's it. Those are my three tricks. Uh, this move is a great move. It's an excellent. It's probably my favorite way to get from the just the normal four grip to a reverse grip, and it looks super cool, super flashy. Uh, hope you guys like this one. Thanks for watching. Peace.